Welcome to Braxton Live and the Little Caesars pregame show. Thanks for joining us for Braxton Live in our sixth season of broadcasting live local sports. And right now, we're fighting with the loudspeakers to get all this said quickly. Uh, tonight, we're at Lincoln High School in Shinston, West Virginia, for week one of your Braxton County High School football season. Uh, we'll be facing the Lincoln Cougars, and we'll be talking a little bit more about that tonight. And uh, as we think about the game, as we think about what's going on and this being our first broadcast, we want to make sure that we take the time to ask you to hit that share button, uh, subscribe, and uh, make sure other people know that this game is on. And, and be sure to let them know that it's only on YouTube. So if they go to Facebook, they can find the link there that will take them to YouTube, and then they can watch, watch the game there. So if you would, before we go to this first set of commercials, go ahead and get that phone out. Uh, go ahead and log on that computer. Do whatever you can and hit that share button, let people know the game is on. Uh, call people, let them know. Uh, if you can get to Shinston in time for the game, that would be great. But we understand if you're home watching already that the best that you could do is just let people know that the game's on. So thanks again for joining us for the Little Caesars pregame show and Braxton Live down here on Field Level at Lincoln County or at Lincoln High School in Shinston, West Virginia uh, for the first, first week of uh, Braxton County High School football. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you right after this first set of commercials. We need more than crow! <gasps> what topic should we get? To the decision wheel. Come on, Dilly. <laughs> Italian sausage. <laughs> and green pepper. These neighbors are weird. Get a large two topping thin crust pizza for $8.99. Order online for pickup or delivery. Pizza, pizza. <laughs> Dr. Chad Lancaster DDS offers comprehensive quality care for the entire family. The practice handles all levels of dental work from a basic cleaning or root canal to implants or referrals to other specialists. With a convenient location in Gasaway and a friendly staff awaiting your arrival, they can help you maintain a happy and healthy smile. The office is open Monday through Thursday from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Schedule your appointment with Dr. Lancaster's dental office by calling 304-364-8565. have a favorite Mexican dish? What could make that favorite Mexican dish even more special? By enjoying it with family and friends at El Gallo Mexican Restaurant in Flatwoods. We are located conveniently at exit 67 in the Flatwoods Center. Our authentic dishes are made with you in mind. We look forward to seeing you here with us. We're open daily at 11 a.m. Welcome back to Braxton Live and a Little Caesars pregame show. I have Coach Hawkins with me, Coach uh, uh, Lincoln of the Lincoln Cougars. Uh, Coach, we've talked before in years past. This is our sixth season, so interviewed you a few times in that, that time frame. Um, but just as always, what, what have you focused on in the offseason this year? Well, uh, this year uh, we knew we had some, some guys to replace. Our backfield, we had to replace them. And the big job we've had to do is the, the line. Mm -hmm. We had one lineman coming back. And he was unable to practice the first week. So we're, yeah. we're pretty much looking at rebuilding the line. Right. So that's been a lot of our focus. Uh, mm -hmm. We know they still have a long way to go, but we're happy with the progress they've yeah. made so far. Yeah. So what have you learned about your team during the preseason? Well, athletically, I think we can compete with about anybody. Our, our skill kids, we love them. Uh, we're starting sophomore quarterback, and he's he's physically matured and throws the ball extremely well. He always threw it well, but he's got a little more arm strength. Yeah this year yeah. so i think we are going to be able to throw the ball the question is can we run it yeah. and that uh, you can't win games if you can't run the ball yeah. no matter how well you throw it yeah. and i remember last year i think you had a couple running backs last year that did pretty well one especially yeah uh antoine hilliard was our starting yeah. running back since halfway through his freshman year right. and then levi moore started for three years so replacing those guys is a big task but uh our two guys are going to be replacing nate swagger and dave burdett they've been waiting patiently for yeah. the last two yeah. years so uh, I'm excited to see them go. I'm excited yeah. to be able to give them the ball and uh, and see what they can do. Yeah. And they're pretty hungry then, right? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> that, that's yeah. at, uh, yeah, especially Nate. All, all day he's ready to go. You know, he's fine. But he's waited patiently. He's been a great yeah. teammate. So yeah. I, I'm I'm hoping that we get to introduce those two to to our fans tonight, so they can see how good they are. Yeah. So you've answered quite a, quite a few of the questions. Your team strengths. Um, uh, strength is, is definitely our skill, guys. Our, our the back end of our defense. Our two corners are both back. Uh, one safety is back, and the other safety played a ton of football last year. 
and then uh, offensively is our receiving core, yeah. you know, because that that's the only position we really didn't lose graduation. Right. Yeah. So we're going to try to lean on those guys uh, until our line can get their feet under. Yeah. What about weaknesses? What you got to improve on this season? Uh, I think definitely stopping a run is a big thing, mm -hmm. and and that's our number one concern coming into this game is to be able to stop the run and and mature in that offensive line like you were saying. Yeah, absolutely. You know, and we are a veteran team, which that's a, you know we lost all the players that everybody knows. They, the guys that they knew their names, mm -hmm. but we still are a veteran team. We, yeah. we have a ton of seniors. It's a big senior class, and, and almost every one of them is starting one way or the other. So we do like physically we are pretty mature. Yeah. And the expectations, I mean, you've had two seasons in the playoffs the last two years and, and uh, uh, had that experience, so your, your team has that culture. Yeah, ho hopefully that has taken root. You know, you always worry about that. I, I think these seniors have taken uh, taken it as a challenge because, like I said, uh, all the all the players that people knew are gone. So yeah. I think people are looking for us to take a step back, yeah. and uh, our seniors seem determined to make sure that doesn't happen. Yeah. Well, that's that's a good place to be. Is that unexpected? But you all expecting it? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, being the underdog yeah. is not a bad place to be yeah. as long as you can take advantage of it. Yeah. Yeah. So that sound, sounds good. So uh, as far as Braxton County today, what do you expect them from Braxton? Well, I mean, I think they're, they're similar to us. They're going to spread it out, you know, try to run it out of the spread. And, uh, and I think, you know, they do have some good athletes. Uh, from what I've seen, uh, they have five solid linemen. And so we know that uh, that's going to be a challenge for us. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm hoping we have a little more depth. So uh, it, if it does come down the fourth quarter, maybe we can wear them out a little bit yeah. because uh, we do have uh, you know, a bigger roster, obviously. But, uh, you know, I look for Braxton to, uh, uh, to be a solid team. I, yeah. I got a chance to see them scrimmage once. And, uh, you know, they have some nice pieces in place, but they're, they're playing a lot of young kids. Yeah. Yeah. And so it's going, they're going to have some growing pains too. Yeah. So give me a key or two to your victory tonight. Uh, defensively, if we can stop the run and uh, and get to the quarterback, I think, uh, you know, defensively we're, we're going to have to be aggressive. And so I think we need to get the quarterback, get some pressure on him, and let our back guys defend. And then offensively, I think how much balance we can have. If we can be near 50-50, run pass balance, and, and move the ball, uh, I like our odds tonight. Yeah. Now, if we, if we have to go pass heavy because we can't run it, uh, then it might be a long night. Okay. Yeah. And that makes the game last longer anyway, time-wise. Yeah. yeah. Well, Coach, thank, thank you very you. much. Thank and uh, we'll Appreciate talk it. to you later. Okay? Right, thank you. Well, there you hear from Coach Hawkins. Uh, their keys to victory, you know, stop the run, be balanced on offense and defense, and uh, see how these younger players step up that are hungry and ready to go. So there you have it here on Field Level with Braxton Live and the Little Caesars pregame show. We'll see you right after this next set of commercials. At Glenville State University, you can discover friends to last a lifetime, professors who broaden your perspective, and the skills and education for future success in a small town environment. At Glenville State University, you can become a pioneer. Mid-State Chevrolet. I-79, exit 67 in Flatwoods. Home of the stock em deep and sell em cheap boys. And proud supporters of Braxton County Athletics. All season long. Flying high with Eagle Pride. Find new roads to I-79, exit 67 in Flatwoods. No matter if you're looking for new car sales or service. Home of the 10-year, 150,000-mile limited powertrain warranty. Mid-State Chevrolet in the heart of Braxton County. MidStateChevy.com. And let's go Eagles. Welcome back to Braxton Live. We're going to mention this uh, Little Caesars pregame show trivia question before um, 
uh, before we get going. You can find the link for that in the YouTube description of, of, of tonight's broadcast. And it's what was the last year that Braxton defeated Lincoln. All right, what was the last year that Braxton defeated Lincoln? So the first who gets that answer gets a free hot and ready pizza from Little Caesars of Flatwoods as well as a free crazy bread too. So first one gets that answer, we'll announce the winner and get in contact with you about how you can pick that up. So, Coach, um, um, we're uh, we're talking about this season, uh, pre or, or postseason stuff. What what did you focus on on the postseason or preseason? Sorry, uh, the small details. We mm -hmm. focused on growth. Yeah. Um, we had a lot of middle schoolers. We had a lot of freshmen coming up. So mm -hmm. just teaching them a game of football. So yeah. we, we focused on the details and, and the techniques of, of their position. Yeah. So so through the preseason, what did you learn about your team? Because you know you got a lot of freshmen, you got younger players. What did you learn about them? They're they're very eager to learn. Mm -hmm. They're they're very smart. So they catch on pretty well. So um, that's that's a huge thing. So whatever we're giving them, they're they're accepting mm -hmm. uh, and moving forward. Yeah. So in the preseason, as you got to know the players and see anything, what what was a pleasant surprise that you had, um, in addition to the eagerness to learn? But is there something that, that was just pleasantly surprising to you as you watch this team grow? The the numbers. Um, mm -hmm. They they continue yeah. to come back uh, before the season before mandatory practice. We mm -hmm. we had twelve. Right. Uh, 12 or more in the, mm -hmm. in the locker room, so that mm -hmm. that was huge. Yeah. Now, in you know, your coaching, you know, um, offensive coordinator, and everything, all that stuff, teaching the plays, working with the players, stuff. You know, a little bit more. You know, consistent or not consistently, but this is the second year of that, right? Right. Right. And, so, that, and that's that's been that's been great keeping the keeping the same um, OC, um, mm -hmm. just teaching them basically the basic things of, of football and yeah. uh, teaching them the, the same. We're running the same um, offense and, right. and things of that sort, so that, that helps a little bit. Yeah. Okay, so what's your strength of this team? Our strength is uh, they're, they're very resilient. They're, they're nonstop. Like mm -hmm. I said, we're strong. We're, we're uh, young, but that's, that's our strength. We're young, and they're eager, and they, they don't quit. Yeah, and that's the uh, Braxton County way. That's the Iron Man mentality, things yes, like sir. that. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. So from there, um, what's uh, what are you expecting from Lincoln tonight? Um, we're expecting the, the big plays. You know, mm -hmm. I mean, they they'll come out here and, and try to dominate mm -hmm. um, with their with their linemen. They always have a bigger line, mm -hmm. um, so we're expecting the big plays. They the running backs run pretty hard. The receivers mm -hmm. are pretty fast. So we just have to stay on top of that with the mm -hmm. secondary and be physical with our uh, linemen and our linebackers. Yeah. Okay. So what's the what's your keys to victory tonight? Controlling the ball. Mm -hmm. We have to control the ball. The, the ball has to be ours, and we have to control it. Mm -hmm. We have to dictate the game tonight. Okay. All right. Sounds good, Coach. Right. We'll talk to you later. Right, Appreciate the time. You. So there there you hear it uh, from, from Coach Williams. Uh, just uh, uh, control the ball. That's what it comes down to. Uh, play physical, play hard, uh, stick with it, and uh, just that Braxton County Ironman thing. You know, it's just really neat to see the numbers coming up. The players, uh, they have a foreign exchange student that's a kicker this year. Sounds like he's doing pretty well. Uh, can't say his name, but they, they say that uh, he's doing really well. So there you hear from Coach Williams and uh, the Little Caesars um, pregame show. Now remember, to look for that link for the trivia question there in the description on YouTube. Uh, down below the video, there's a description button, a see more, whatever it is. Go down and hit, click that, that button and answer the question. And is what was the last year that Braxton beat Lincoln in this matchup? All right, thanks again for joining us for the Little Caesars pregame show. Braxton Live down here at field level at Lincoln High School in Shinston, West Virginia. We'll see you right after this next set of commercials. You know, every summer, for as long as I can remember, I've been coming up here to skip. You see, it's so thin and crispy, it's not just perfect for eating. It's also perfect for skipping. You know, every summer, for as long as I can remember, slices of thin crust pizza just fly out of the lake. Like a miracle. I got one! Me too! The lake giveth thin crust! It's a hot and ready thin crust summer at Little Caesars. Pizza, pizza. Whether you're feeding cattle, milking cows, or baling hay, the work on your farm is never done. Which is why you need equipment that works as hard as you do. From farm all compact and utility tractors, to balers and mowers. Case IH equipment gives you the efficiency and the versatility you need to get things done. To learn more, visit caseih.com slash livestock. For me, part-time service in the West Virginia Army National Guard looks like this. As a construction engineer, I'm moving earth, building roads, and working with a great team to accomplish our mission. 
My service trained me how to operate heavy construction equipment, and those skills have opened up doors to a great career here at home. See how part-time service can help you build your future. Go to nationalguard.com slash WV to find out more. If RPMs raise your BPMs, if the open road is an open invitation, then get up and go. Go turn some heads. Go turn a wrench. Go windows down. Go volume up. Go in. Go out. Go off. Napa has America's largest network of parts and care. Here to keep you firing on all cylinders. But it's just two degrees. Ah, two degrees is a lot of money! Oh. But I'm sweaty. We have a car payment to make! Oh. Don't beat yourself up over energy costs. Mitsubishi Electric Systems give you efficient individual room control with no duct work. Mitsubishi Electric Cooling and Heating. Live better. Go to MitsubishiComfort.com. Welcome back to Braxton Live down here on Field Level at Lincoln High School in Shinston, West Virginia. And thank you for joining us for the Little Caesars pregame show. We do have a winner of our trivia question. When was the last year that Braxton County beat Lincoln? And the winner is Marcus Cooper. So congratulations, Marcus. We'll be in touch with you on how you can pick up your free crazy bread and uh, uh, hot and ready classic pizza at Flatwoods, uh, uh, at Little Caesars of Flatwoods. Uh, we won't contact you and give you any other uh, prize packages or anything like that, but it's a classic hot and ready and a, and a crazy bread from Little Caesars of Flatwoods. All right, so as we move on to that, let's talk about some of the stats here with, uh, with uh, Lincoln, Lincoln and, and Braxton. Uh, we are playing on turf tonight. Uh, the rain today isn't going to impact that at all. Um, it is 78 degrees currently. It's partly cloudy. The clouds are coming and going. Uh, we get spots of sun. Uh, Five-mile-an-hour winds with a humidity of 88%. Um, so when you think about that and everything is happening, uh, first game of the season, players, all that, there's going to be some cramp issues. Uh, coaches have made sure, as we've talked to different people that are in the know of that, uh, they've made sure that hydration is, is something that they're focused on, that they stay hydrated, that they do all the hydration stuff to prepare for tonight and not just wait for game time. Uh, when we look at Lincoln, we already talked to Coach Hawkins. Uh, it's in, he's in his 10th season with this, with this squad. Uh, he, in, a, in 92 games, he has a record of 52 and 40. The last two seasons in particular have been winning seasons for them, and they have made it to the playoffs. I believe they're like 6-2 uh, uh, and two last year in the Big Ten. Uh, lost to North Marion in the playoffs, so they ended up being 6-3 and three in the Big Ten. Uh, then they're 4-2 and two in the Big Ten. The year prior to that, they lost to Frankfurt. So the last few years have been really good seasons for them. So they have a, a, a culture that's being built here. They have a lot of things that are going on that, that allow players to see what success looks like and victories and playoffs and things like that. So they're coming in hungry. One of the things that I think is really interesting to note and something you want to watch tonight, uh, they want to make sure that they can establish the run. Uh, one of the things with that is uh, they lost their two senior running backs last season, and they have two younger running backs that have been waiting and, and waiting for their turn, waiting for their opportunity. They've been good teammates, he said, and it sounds like they're hungry. And so that's something to watch tonight. Watch the running game, and they're, of course, going to throw the ball. If they're 50-50, uh, then there's going to be plenty of passing in that. And uh, if the run game takes a, a while to establish, it's going to be a long night just because passes and com incompletions and the, the clock stopping and all those kind of things. So that's looking at, at Lincoln and their, and their history. Uh, looking at Braxton County, um, uh, we have 28 players versus their 44 players. Uh, Coach Hawkins mentioned that uh, they hope that their depth will help them and, and getting breaks and rest and getting players cycled in and out. Where Braxton with 28 players, uh, doesn't quite have that, that luxury. We do know of one injury, Jamie Nettles, uh, who is a starting safety as well as a starting receiver for the, the, the squad, uh, is out with a, a shoulder injury. And uh, we saw him on the sideline with his, uh, his, his shoulder brace on. Uh, so as we pray for him, for, for his healing and all that, just know that that does leave a, a little bit of a, a hole there and the next man has to step up. Uh, in, in, on our record in 2022, we were one and nine. And then in 21, 2021, we were two and eight. 
So there's some things there. We're looking at this young team, looking for a team that's been learning and growing and seeing how they respond uh, to a, a, a more mature team, a team that has a little bit more of experience. So that's really going to be the battle lines there is have they remembered what they learned? Are they able to carry out what they learned? Are they going to be able to compete? And uh, so that's, that's what Coach Williams said. I asked him before we went to interview, he said, what do you think? He says, we're ready. We're ready. So I think that's a good perspective to have, it's something good to think about whenever you're looking at these two these two teams. Uh, now, one last little stat that we can mention here is that when facing each other, Lincoln has the, the advantage, 10 games to nine. They've played each other 19. Uh, tonight is our chance to even it out 10 to 10 uh, in the overall matchup between these two teams. And it's going to be exciting to watch how this young Eagles team, this Iron Men, if you will, uh, how they will respond to the adversity, to the changes of the speed from grass field to turf, all the things, the first game, the rust, the jitters, uh, the new positions, um, and, and so we'll just see how that goes. So there you have it down here on field level uh, with Braxton Live and the Little Caesars pregame show. We're excited about tonight, and we're going to see how everything goes. So we're going to take another quick break. We'll see you right after this next set of commercials. But thanks again for joining us for the Little Caesars pregame show. And be sure to let other people know that the game is on. And while you're at it, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Turn on the notifications on that little bell symbol. And uh, that way you just know anytime a game's on, you don't have to go searching for the link. It'll just pop up right there on your phone or your computer. Thanks again for joining us for the Little Caesars pregame show. And we will see you right after this next set of commercials. The Roach Funeral Home's goal is to give the families we serve a warm and relaxed home to come to during the difficult moments in their lives facilitate meaningful and respectful ways for families to grieve their loss and celebrate the memories of their loved ones. We are guided by the concept of fundamental honesty and fairness in everything we do. We offer traditional funeral and cremation services. We also offer pre-need consultations where planning ahead can make all the difference to your family. At the Roach Funeral Home, the friendship of those we serve is the foundation of our business. Mid-State Chevrolet, I-79, exit 67 in Flatwoods, home of the stock em deep and sell em cheap boys, and proud supporters of Braxton County Athletics, all season long, flying high with Eagle Pride. Find new roads to I-79, exit 67 in Flatwoods. No matter if you're looking for new car sales or service, home of the 10-year, 150,000-mile limited powertrain warranty, Mid-State Chevrolet in the heart of Braxton County, midstatechevy.com, and let's go Eagles! I think if you're looking for a job in health care, being a part of a rural health care system is an excellent way to start. At Braxton County Memorial Hospital, you learn so many things that you don't always get to experience in larger facilities. The care that I get to give with my patients, you get to know these people on a more personal basis. Become a part of our team. Apply online today at wvumedicine.org slash careers to see all of our current job opportunities. At Case IH, we believe it's our job to provide you with solutions. That's why our Farmall and Maxim tractors, as well as our tools and attachments, are designed with you in mind. From mowing to bailing. The roar of our engines. The pump of our heartbeats. The pedal to our metal. The sparks that ignite us. The pistons that push us. The passions that drive us. From the feelings that move us the places that pull us on the roads that unite us. Napa has America's largest network of parts and care, here to be the fuel that keeps you firing on all cylinders. With Mitsubishi Electric's revolutionary hyperheating systems, you can keep one or every room toasty with lower energy bills and no new ductwork. Even when temperatures outside dip to minus 13, so your home will never feel like an icebox. Right, Buster? Good boy. Mitsubishi Electric Cooling and Heating. Make comfort personal. Dr. Chad Lancaster, DDS, offers comprehensive quality care for the entire family. The practice handles all levels of dental work from a basic cleaning or root canal to implants or referrals to other specialists. With a convenient location in Gasaway and a friendly staff awaiting your arrival, they can help you maintain a happy and healthy smile. The office is open Monday through Thursday from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Schedule your appointment with Dr. Lancaster's dental office by calling 304-364-8565. We would now ask that you join us in a moment of silence in memory of Coach Mark Starkey. Coach Starkey was a graduate of Shenston High School and dedicated his life to young people as a teacher and coach at Notre Dame and Lincoln High Schools. His coaching career included a stint 
as head football coach at Lincoln High School. Thank you for helping us honor a special member of the Lincoln High family. A moment of silence, please. Thank you. And now the Lincoln High School Marching Band, the Star Spangled Banner. Have a favorite Mexican dish? What could make that favorite Mexican dish even more special? By enjoying it with family and friends at El Gallo Mexican Restaurant in Flatwoods. We are located conveniently at exit 67 in the Flatwoods Center. Our authentic dishes are made with you in mind. We look forward to seeing you here with us. We're open daily at 11 a.m. At Glimble State University, you can discover friends to last a lifetime, professors who broaden your perspective, and the skills and education for future success in a small town environment. At Glimble State University, you can become a pioneer. Welcome back to Braxton Live and the Little Caesars pregame show. We want to thank you all for watching, uh, for joining us here. We thank you for sharing. We thank you for uh, uh, turning on that notification button and hitting that subscribe button all on YouTube to help us out. Uh, we want to also take time to thank our, our sponsors that make all this possible. Braxton Citizens News, Clear Mountain Bank, Dr. Chad Lancaster, DDS, El Gallo Mexican Restaurant, Gasaway Baptist Church, Glenville State University, uh, who is sponsoring our telestration and our first downline this year. We forgot to mention earlier. Uh, GoMart, H&H Housewashing, Little Caesars, uh, Lloyd's Hardware, uh, Lockers Incorporated, Mid-State Chevrolet, Mountaineer RV and Outdoor Center, Riches Refrigeration, Air Conditioning, Heating, Plumbing and Welding, Roach Funeral Home, Ryan Shaver Photography, Sports Connection, Napa Auto Parts, Sutton, The Boss 97, West Virginia Army National Guard, and WVU Medicine at Braxton County Memorial Hospital. We'll be right back after this next set of commercials, but we want to toss it up to Shane and Jamie for the broadcast. Thanks again for joining us for Braxton Live and the Little Caesars pregame show. We were watching the middle school play, and, and uh, Coach and I just sitting there having a frank conversation. He said, so... You know what are the what are the keys that you saw and and I said listen I said you guys are not as good right now as you're going to be right and, and I said I really think that I said I I really see a very young football team that is slowly maturing and so I really feel like you know these first few games if you guys can get through there you guys can can really come out a different team right which is one of the things that Coach D was talking about yep. you know is trying to progress week by week. Yeah, and he talked about 1% of the time, you know, not looking at trying to get 25% better in one week, but just 1%, small gains. I love it, yep. Uh, and, and he brought up a word that is very, you and I have used for years coaching together, 
details. Details. Focus on the little details, big things, great things will happen yep. if you focus on those details. Well, and, and, and that's how you really do win ball games when you're when you're outsized or you're out speed, you know, it, it, you face that. Yep. Time in, time out, you just, sometimes you don't match up well, but if you take care of the details, you can find yourself in a position where you still have an opportunity to win a ball game. Absolutely. Captains are meeting at the field. You got number 20 for Lincoln, Maddox Perrine, number 24, Nathan Swiger, number one, Gerald Parado, and number 75. That is offensive and defensive lineman Riley Lanham, and you've got the captains for Braxton County. Well, I, I will have to wait until I see some jerseys clear out because I was looking down at the names while you were reading them. <laughs> so I can't see anybody's numbers. we got a 21 yet. out there. Do we have a 21? Yep. All right, we got Cody Stout on the field. It looks like we have a 31. Stephen Deal. It looks like we have a 73. I just caught that as well, Mr. Sigman, Joel Sigman. And we've got one still out there hiding. And 56. That's 50. Thank goodness for the camera work right there, yep. buddy. Pulled us out. Connor Facemeyer rounding out cap the captains. Yep. Coin has been tossed, and we're going to wait to see who the winner is. What a uh, nice facility we've got here at Lincoln. It's always a pleasure to come up here yes. and uh, get this opportunity to play on the turf field. Absolutely. So Braxton has won the toss. They have elected to defer to the second half. While we await the kickoff, let's go to the rankings because everyone, you and I have talked about this for years, yep. along with Billy. <coughs> if you're wondering where Billy McDonald's at, he has retired. Uh, he's going to watch his daughter uh, as she cheers. She's a cheerleader with the Braxton County High School cheerleading squad, and we don't blame him. Enjoy nope. your – she's a sophomore with the – He rode off in the sunset. Yes, he did. So he's going to enjoy – Enjoy watching his daughter as well he should. So we, we miss Billy. We're going to try and do a, a great job. Hey, we're going to have fun. That's regardless. That's right. Triple A in the rankings. You got, uh, I guess, coming back or reigning state champion Rain. Huntington at number one. Number two is Martinsburg. Shocker. Three is Hurricane. Fourth is Bridgeport. Fifth, Cabell Midland. Sixth, Parkersburg, followed by George Washington. Morgantown, the Mohegans in the A spot. Ninth is Jefferson. And then Spring Valley rounds out your top ten. That double-A category, same exact principle. Independence, reigning state champion from last year. Tremendous season. Absolutely. Uh, followed up by Herbert Hoover, number three, Fairmont Senior, number four, Winfield, five, Frankfurt, six, Bluefield, number seven, North Marion, uh, number eight, Scott, number nine, Roan County, uh, an opponent that we'll pick up here in uh, a few weeks down the road. Absolutely. And uh, rounding out the top ten, Kaiser, the Golden Tornadoes. In single A, you've got state reigning state champion Williamstown, the Yellow Jackets in the number one spot, followed by James Monroe, the runner-up. Then you have Wheeling Central, Wahama, Doddridge County, who took it on the chin earlier this week yeah. against St. Mary's in the fifth spot. Sixth is Greenbrier West, seventh Cameron, eighth East Hardy, St. Mary's is nine, and Tucker County rounds out your top ten. That was a uh, pretty good hard-fought ball game, my understanding, between uh, Doddridge and St. Mary's yeah. as well. So we're underway, and the kickoff about to take place. And that is Onderon Michinu about to kick off. He kicks a short. It's fielded by number four at Lincoln, and they're going to take over from their own 45-yard line. That is Mr. Gallagher. Liam Gallagher falls on the ball. So, Well, that's good field position, but we get that uh, squib down, Pat. Maybe we'll get a chance to uh, jump on one. Absolutely. Then. And, you know, Eagles won the toss, so let's win the game. I like the way you're thinking. Let's keep our winning streak going keep here. Keep the winning happening. Last time the Eagles defeated Lincoln was in 2016. Lincoln going on a five-year winning streak, so we'd like to see that stifled out tonight. Triple receivers out to the left. Single receiver to the near side. A.J. Bart, the sophomore quarterback, calling the shots behind. Hand off. Play action swings out into the flat. Caught by number 15, Aiden Rice on his feet. And he is going to be right at the, the first down marker. He's going to be about two feet shy. So a big completion Trevor, and nine-yard gain for the Cougars. Trevor Edgerton. Ed, oof, boy, I couldn't get that one out. That, <laughs> Edgerton? Uh, Edgerton uh, did a nice job coming in there, but just a little bit late. Right. Got that nine-yard pickup. Four quick formation, two receivers to the right, two receivers to the left. David Burdett, the lone setback, he lines up directly behind Bart. 
Second down and one. Snap comes back. Burdeck takes hand off. He's across. Got a first down. Met. He's got the 40. 35, 30. And still wrestling. He goes across the 30 down to the 28-yard line. Too much on that game right there, Shane. Way too much. Caught us backpedaling, to be honest with yes. you. Yes. Lincoln, Lincoln's line played on the Eagles' side of the ball. I'm going to have to watch the uh, teleprompter here because I can't see nothing but a wall. <laughs> yeah. you got a big partition in your way. Two receivers to the left and single receiver to the right. Snap comes back. Burdett gets the handoff again. He's got a wall. Tries to bounce it to the outside. He goes out of bounds. Nope, spins out of bounds. I thought he was out, but he gets down to about the 20, close to the 23. Better stop by the Eagles defense there. A little better. Can Ben just don't break. Right. So about six yards on that pickup. Going to be second down and four. Let's see what they elect to do here. Going to switch tailbacks. They got Nathan Swagger in there. Went to the bigger back. Yeah, six foot, 170 pounds, senior. Trips left, single receiver to this near side. Bart takes a snap, hand off Swagger. Up the A-gap, he spins ahead, runs into traffic, but he's got the first down, I believe. Needed four, looks like he got about four. Four and a half, yep, they're moving the chains. Too easy. Very patient right there and just waited for that, that wall of Cougars to move ahead. Well, and like I said, the, that offensive line right now is playing on our side of the ball. Yeah. Triple receivers again to the left. Single receiver. The lone receiver, Braden Edgel, to this right side. Bart. Play action. Fires into the middle at the post, and it's a touchdown for the Cougars. Completed to number 20, Maddox Perrine. Too easy. Nobody picked him up in coverage. Well, yeah, we were a little flat-footed there. Yep. He got in behind the linebacker who should have picked him up and uncovered into the end zone for the Cougar touchdown. 17-yard touchdown catch. Bart to Perrine. And awaiting the extra point attempt. It's up, and it looks like a dandy. It is good. And just like that, with 10-10 to go, the Eagles or the Eagles trail by seven here in Shinston. We'll be back after a word from our sponsors and in 60 seconds on the boss. The Roach Funeral Home's goal is to give the families we serve a warm and relaxed home to come to during the difficult moments in their lives. To facilitate meaningful and respectful ways for families to grieve their loss and celebrate the memories of their loved ones. We are guided by the concept of fundamental honesty and fairness in everything we do. We offer traditional funeral and cremation services. We also offer pre-need consultations where planning ahead can make all the difference to your family. At the Roach Funeral Home, the friendship of those we serve is the foundation of our business. Uh, I left my phone in the living room. This isn't the most efficient way for people or air to travel. Ah. Ducks produce uneven temperatures and energy loss. Mitsubishi Electric Systems offer a better way, with no new ductwork and lower energy bills. So everyone gets exactly what they want! Mitsubishi Electric Cooling and Heating. Make comfort personal. Eagles set to receive the kickoff. High end over end kick received at the 17. On the ground turf, it picked it up. That's Cody Stout. He's running for his life. He gets wrapped up, goes down inside the 20. 25. Yeah. I like it. Good second and third effort by Eliah Moore. Hey, if you're not down, keep churning. Keep in he legs kept, driving. He, and he did. Nice job. Six-yard gain, second and four for the Eagles. Got Moore to the right and Stout to the left. Twins to the right, single receiver to this near side. Moss takes a snap, high snap, handoff to, check that, that's number 31, Stephen Deal. He takes it ahead for about a yard and a half. And it's going to be third down and about. They mark it back. It's going to be about, he gets about a yard gain on that carry by Stephen Deal. It's going to be third and three, which is manageable. Very manageable. I don't want them to move forward, but I want them to get away from that post. Yeah. <laughs> you can slide over. I can scoot back. That's all right. I'm watching the teller. 
Single receiver to the right, twins left. Moss takes off, handoff to Moore. Moore's still churning and burning. He's got a first down. He hangs onto the ball. Drive is still going. Nice job, nice job. Did a great job. Elia is a sophomore, and he uh, saw a lot of action last year as a freshman. <laughs> He ended up being a workhorse last year. And yes, listen, he he's been in the weight room. He's strong. Um, and, and it'll show. And just like here when that guy come in and try to get the football, Elias covered it up wisely yep. and just kept grinding. Not his first rodeo. Nope. Twin receivers to this near side. Single receiver out wide to the right. Moss, high snap, handoff taken by Moore. Trying to get around the edge, and he's going to be caught. And he's going to lose a yard. On that carry. So it's going to be second down and 11. I'll tell you what, the Cougars are quick to that edge, Shane. They have good team speed overall. Even those bigger guys down there are, are scraping very well. Yep. Two inside linemen. You got Lanham at six foot two ten. Snap comes back, handoff. Moore trying to get this edge again. He's caught by number, well, a host of Cougars, but number 62 caught him from behind, Dylan Shaw, and blows the play up before it ever got started. Loss of four. So that's going to be third down and 15 now. That, that Lincoln defensive line is doing a very, very good job getting some penetration right there in the last couple plays. Yeah, absolutely. But I'm hoping that they're going to set up a little wrinkle off of that. Twins right, single receiver left. Moss fires into the flat. It's caught. Oh, is it picked off? They're calling incomplete. Thankfully, it was tipped in and out of the hands of Elijah Markham, and it's going to fall incomplete, almost intercepted. If that Cougar had had another step, it probably would have been roped in. That would have been trouble, too, right there. Yes. So the Eagles going to have to punt the ball away on their first series of the evening. Back deep for Lincoln, trying to get a number. number is that number two, two, I believe, looks like. Yeah. That is Braden Edgel. Senior. Another senior. The veteran core of receivers and skill positions for. And the snap is bad. It's busted up. we got to pick it up. Go. And he is tackled in the end zone. They're going to mark him at the one. They're going to mark it down at the one. Exactly what you don't the, want to happen. The, exactly. So the Cougars will have the ball on the one first and goal from their Eagles one yard line. Nathan Heater could not get on it. And that's just about as good a field position as you could get if you're a Cougar. <laughs> Listen. Yeah, it don't get much better than that. Oh, gone. Yeah. Not good for your Eagles. So you've got a two-back set in there for, actually, it's pistol formation. A little bit of the, I'm trying, got, to, I'm trying to look through this partition as well. I've got a wishbone formation here. Three-back set. Diamond, Bart. Handoff, number 15, touchdown for the Cougars. Aiden Rice dives in, and it's a touchdown from the one. And just like that, it's 13 to nothing. Your Eagles are trailing here in the first quarter. Two. No, no trickeration. That was uh, here we come. Yep, stop, stop us, us if you can. So Liam Gallagher set to attempt the PAT, trying to make it a two-score Lead for the Cougars. Kick is up, and it is good. good. 14 to nothing with 6.53 to go in the first. Cougars on top of your Eagles, 14 to nothing. We'll be back in 60 seconds. You know, every summer, for as long as I can remember, I've been coming up here to skip. You see, it's so thin and crispy, it's not just perfect for eating. It's also perfect for skipping. Mm. You know, every summer, for as long as I can remember, slices of thin crust pizza just fly out of the lake. Like a miracle. I got one! Me too! The lake giveth thin crust! 
us. It's a hot and ready thin crust summer at Little Caesars. Pizza, pizza. Mid-stage Chevrolet. I-79, exit 67 in Flatwoods. Home of the stock em deep and sell em cheap boys. And proud supporters of Braxton County Athletics. All season long. Flying high with Eagle Pride. Find new roads to I-79, exit 67 in Flatwoods. No matter if you're looking for new car sales or service. Home of the 10-year, 150,000-mile limited powertrain warranty. Mid-stage Chevrolet and the heart of Braxton County. MidstateChevy.com. And let's go Eagles. Welcome back to the action here in Shinston West. Eagle first down. Hey, playing with a little intensity there. Yeah. Very good. I like to see him not standing up so tall when he spins. Uh, yeah. You know what I mean? Yes. Not that I was ever a running back like you, but. Uh, Forward lane means a lot. It, yeah. You're exposing a lot of. Uh, vitals. Vitals <laughs> when you're standing up like that. You get deflated that way real easy. Yeah, guys like me look for that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they like it, too. Twins right, single receiver left. Moss takes a snap. He drops back. And he had pressure in his face and under throws intended for number 24, Ryan Stoniker. He was covered by number three, Noah Sears. I think it was maybe grazed. It was it was really pretty good coverage, too. Yes. I, I mean, all things considered, he wouldn't have got far had it been a good pass. Second down at 10. Stops the clock at 543. Eagles trail 14 to nothing. Twins right single receiver to this near side. Snap, handoff. Moore gets wrapped up there. There's five white jerseys standing and watching him get tackled. I tell you what, boys, that just frustrates me. <laughs> oh, goodness. I mean, I don't know that they held a block longer than a second. Uh, those were lookout blocks. That's all they were. So we lost three on that. It's going to be third down to 13 now for the Eagles. We, we, we fired off and played hard for, for a couple plays. Yep. We got, we got to come back to that. Consistency. Twins to the near side, single receiver to the right. Snap back. Moss wants to throw across the middle. He goes. It's going to be picked off at the 44-yard line by the Cougars, number three, Noah Sears. Pass was intended for Cody, but just just not enough on it. Under throw. Right. Well, we're not only starting sophomores. We're starting freshmen. We're starting freshmen, and we're going to have some of those uh-ohs. Now, I'm not making excuses. That's just reality. I, exactly. I'm just being real. Uh, the simple fact is it's going to take these guys a little bit to get the jitters out, to settle down into what they need to do. Twins to the left. Single receiver to this near side. Burdett lines up behind Bart. Snaps back. Hand off to Burdett. Trying to get the edge. He's running out of room. And he gets met and nice out of bounds on the Lincoln Cougar sideline. He gets two, and that's it. So it's going to be third and eight for Lincoln. Elias strung that out, and I did not catch who came in and cleaned it up, but a uh, very nice job there defensively. That That's the kind of play that you want to see, you know, there, Elias, and then who, who cleaned that up? 70? 71. 77. 77. Carl Boyce. Carl Boyce. Nice job, Carl. Yep. So third and eight, trips to the left now, and single receiver to this near side. Bart stands at his own 40. Burdett shifts up to his right. Third and eight, Bart has time. Fires into the flat. It is caught. Oh. And it's a first down for the Cougars at the 42-yard line. It's a fine catch. Yes, it was. He had to stretch out and Superman that catch. Noah Sears pulled that in for the first down for his Cougars. Now, as, as the secondary was setting right there, they were in the right position. They didn't let him behind him. Right. I'd like to see him a hair closer. <laughs> yeah, so not so we, much cushion. Right, so we could swat that thing, but. We've got our first flag of the night. I believe we're going to have a false start against the Cougars. Nope, it is offsides against oh. the Eagles. So that's going to. Assist the Cougars, moving five yards closer. So it's going to be first and five now. I thought they were looking at a Cougar that had moved. But it was an eagle in the neutral zone. All right. So first and five now for Lincoln. Edgel and Perron, the wide outs to the left. Rice. 
And Sears, the wideouts to the right. Now you've got Nathan Swagger, the lone setback. Going to be a handoff to Swagger. He stutter steps right up the A-gap, busts into the secondary, still on his feet. More than enough for a Cougar first down, down all the way to the 22-yard line. One, one official standing at the 22, one standing at the 23. There they have adjusted. Nice patient run by Swagger. Very just patient. Call it what it is. Yep. He just picked and choose and yeah. Very nice. Very uh, simulated the cone drill for running backs or the bag drill there. Just side to side and picked his way through. Twins left, twins right. Bart stands at the Eagle. 27 handoff to Perrine in the jet sweep. He's down across the 15, still on his feet, spins the nine. He's going to go out of bounds at about the 11. See where they mark him. They're going to mark him out at the 12. Very close to the stick for a first down. So it's going to be a nine-yard gain. He's going to be about uh, a six-inch sub away from a first from a, a first down. Well, we have got to come up with a uh, way to slow down this offensive line that is pushing us downfield. Yes. Those guys are getting getting on the blocks. We've had no pressure on Bart to this point. Twins left, single receiver right. Play action. Bart rolls. Fires into the flat. It's pulled in by Swagger, and he's going to go in and not touched until the end zone. Touchdown Cougars at the 235 mark. So three scores here in the first quarter. Well, one of the things you and I talked about with a younger quarterback, a sophomore quarterback, lots of times you want to pressure him. Yes. See if you can get him to make some mistakes. Yep. Well, if he's got all day to sit back there and not be pressured, he's probably not going to make a ton of mistakes. So that's that's a uh, something we're going to have to figure out how to do. Uh, yes. So far it looks like Bart is three of four. Extra point attempt is up, and it looks like it's good, and the official – Confirms it. They trail by 21 to nothing here. Fielded by Stout at the 15. He's got the 20. 25. Across the 30. Still on his feet and wrestles down at the 32. That's where the Eagles will start out with their next offensive series of the evening. Got to get something put together. Over his head by two feet. Whew. Second and... Whew. Yeah, second and 23. 20, 20, 22, it looks 22. like. Third down and a bunch. Third, yes. So we didn't need that. 156 on the rolling clock. Triple receivers to this near side, single receiver out wide to the right. Bender steps, throws, and it's going to be picked off. And it could be a pick six. It is. He's going to score. That's number two. Dang, on it. Braden Edgel. Man, guys. Fourth score of the quarter for the Cougars. Well, we had a score before the end of the quarter, but it was not for the Eagles. That was not the one we wanted. 28-yard reception. Equipment that works as hard as you do. Gallagher set to attempt the PAT. Snaps back, holds good, kick is up, and he derives that through the uprights. 35 to nothing, buck 24 remaining in this quarter. We'll be back in 60 seconds here on the Boss 97. For me, part-time service in the West Virginia Army National Guard looks like this. As a construction engineer, I'm moving earth, building roads, and working with a great team to accomplish our mission. My service trained me how to operate heavy construction equipment, and those skills have opened up doors to a great career here at home. See how part-time service can help you build your future. Go to nationalguard.com WV to find out more. How easy is it to purchase your new camper at Mountaineer RV and Outdoor Center? I don't know. You get a lot of things going right, but... Let me there, hear is, there is still time. There's plenty of time. But we got to have a lot of things going right. Yeah. And it's going to start on this series. I feel it. I'm to, can I hold you to this, please? You can hold me to it. I love it. Trips right. 
missing a player. And there he goes. So that's going to be a third and seven for the Eagles. Not what you'd like, but uh, it's doable. It is doable. That's better than third and 17, though. I'll agree. Twins right, twins to the left. More the lone setback. He lines up to the left of Moss, and they're going to let the clock expire. That's it. First quarter's in the books for the season, and we are in a hole. Evelyn Post is a proud sponsor of Braxton County Sports. She supports all our youth and wishes everyone much success throughout the year in sports and academics. Always remember, you are braver than you believe, stronger than you seem, smarter than you think, and loved more than you know. Cherish the memories you make throughout your school years. Evelyn Post is a proud supporter of our Braxton County youth. Let's go Eagles! Family Furniture Center in Gasway has living room suites, dining rooms, bedrooms, mattress sets, desks, tables, chairs. They have it all. Free delivery, free setup, and financing available. Are you needing home improvement items? Stop by Rex Road Supply Company for your treated lumber, flooring, paint, tools, and so much more. Family Furniture Center and Rex Road Supply. State Street, across from the Braxton County Armory in Gasaway. A proud supporter of Braxton County High School Sports. It is truck month at Mark LaRose Ford in Gasaway. Now through the 31st, they have slashed prices on all new F-150s in stock to just $62 under invoice to save you thousands on your next ride. Like a 2023 Super Crew starting at just $48,962. Plus, take advantage of rates as low as 3.9%. Shop all of these deals online at MarkLaRoseFord.com or visit today. Just 62 seconds off exit 62 in Gasaway. It is Mark LaRose Ford hydrated right should be a good environment to play so they flopped into the field there to our left now eagles will be traveling from our left to right i'd like to see them travel too i would too i'd like to see them get behind this post that we can't see around that's what i'm talking about i'll sacrifice a little view for a score absolutely so eagles send out twin receivers to this near side Clock is set. Eagles trail 35 to nothing. Two receivers out wide to the left. To the left. Four quick formation. More of the lone setback. Bender back in at quarterback. Bender's running for his life. Got to run. He's so two penalties on the night so far. Both awarded to the Eagles. We don't, we don't need to give them any advantage. No. So we'll reset and Restart. Punt formation for the Eagles. Snap is better. Punt is blocked and field picked up by the guy that blocked it. And that is number 15, Aiden Rice. All right, I'm going to say this. When the stuff is going your way, buddy, stuff is going your way. That didn't just bounce up into his hands. I mean, it. he, he had no choice but to catch yeah, it. Yeah, it shot back into his paunch. And he had to catch it. He's going to eat it. Uh, bottom line, buddy, that was crazy. Yeah, everything is just rolling for Lincoln. So it's another touchdown for the Cougars. 41 to nothing and 57 seconds chewed off the second quarter clock. Gallagher set to attempt the PAT. Kicks up. Kick is good. And just like that, it's 42 to nothing. We'll be back in 60 seconds here on The Boss 97. I think if you're looking for a job in health care, being a part of a rural health care system is an excellent way to start. At Braxton County Memorial Hospital, you learn so many things that you don't always get to experience in larger facilities. The care that I get to give with my patients, you get to know these people on a more personal basis. Become a part of our team. Apply online today at wvumedicine.org slash careers to see all of our current job opportunities. If RPMs raise your BPMs, <laughs> if the open road is an open invitation, then get up and go. Go turn some heads. Go turn a wrench. Go windows down. Go volume up. Go in. Go out. 
go off. Napa has America's largest network of parts and care, here to keep you firing on all cylinders. <coughs> Sorry. Welcome back to the action, and the Eagles set to receive the ball after the block punt is Gracefully. recovered. <laughs> yeah, gracefully, well said. <laughs> recovered in for the touchdown. And here we go, 11.03 in the second quarter. High end over, in kick, fielded by Stout at the one. Here comes Stout. He's got the 15, and he gets no farther. They're going to give him the 16. So about a 15-yard run. And the Eagles will take over first and 10 from their own 15-yard, 16-yard line. Tough, tough field position, buddy. Indeed. Well, you know, they really do have to start with just some little victories, tighten everybody's splits down, and go back to the basics at this point. Yep. Because we're not doing much right, and everything is going right for Lincoln. Everything is going right. Twins left and twins to the right for the Eagles. In a quarterback, Brett Bender. A lot more lines up to his left, snaps back. Bender fires out, it's tipped, caught, and another pick six by Braden Edger. That's the old tip drill. My goodness. Oh, my goodness. I, I don't know what to say. I'm, pass was high and intended for Cody Stout, and he couldn't get a hold of it, and it pop, popped right into the hands of Braden Edger. And, and it's another Cougar score. Stops the clock at 10.49. Tough, 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 buddy. I mean, that's just. Mm, mm, mm. Kick. Oh, the PAT is now, no good. There, we finally got something. A, yeah, that's one less point on the scoreboard. So it's 48 to nothing. 10.49 to go, and let's just keep it right here. Let's just keep it right here. What? Uh, wh where do you start as a coach? I mean, obviously, this is – there's still a ton of football left. Well, okay, so remember back years ago we were coaching middle school, and we were playing Summersville, and we went into halftime. I, it was an unsurmountable lead that they had on us. It just truly was in middle school. Because you got, what, eight-minute quarters? Right, right. And we went, and we changed our game plan. We went, okay, our, our first goal is we got to get a first down. So in this entire thing, we have we have two first downs so far. Right. Let's try and double that in a drive. You know, that's that's an attainable goal. Attainable goals, correct. Yep, yep. And, and I think we got to change our play calling a little bit to – we got to simplify. We got to simplify. We can't be swinging passes out. We can't, you know, we got to find little little pockets or little holes in in their defense. And they're obviously being tremendously aggressive. One of the things you and I talked about was that middle screen. Middle screen. How do you slow down an aggressive rushing team? A middle screen. That's exactly right. You let them come, and it burns them. Yeah. That slows them down for a few plays. Now they're going to pin their ears back again. That's right. But. That gets us the attainable goal. Kick is away. It's fielded at the 30, and that's Moss. He's got it at the 35. And that is going to be, they're going to give him the 36. A little bit better field position to get started. That is some of the best field position we have had on the evening. We will take it. Hey, block kick, better field position, two things. There you go. It, things are looking up. 48 to nothing here, 10.35 on a rolling clock. And let's see now. Let's get a first down. We need to reach the 46 for a first down. That's one. So let's just keep marching down the field. That's exactly right. One at a time. Twins right and single receiver to the left. Moore and Deal in the backfield. Handoff for Moss. Moore's got a nice run. He busts into the open, and he's going to pick up about seven. That's a nice first down pickup, Shane. 
Now, I, I would, as a coach, immediately I would want to go back quickly, look at that, and go, okay, what did we do different right, right there? You know, because that was more like they were zone blocking and actually got out in the zone. Yes. Made the right steps. Yep. And then Moore, and Moore just stayed behind that till he found that hole that, and then – And sliced it, yep. Yeah. All right, here we go. Twins right, single receiver to the left. Snap comes back, gets a handoff. Moore's got a hole, and that's deal. Spins, he's got a first down. There's an attainable goal, and he's near. And looks like across the 50 into Cougar territory. There we go. Picked up first down. And that was junior Stephen Deal. So, two positive things occurring right there. Little by little. Little victories, small victories. Here we are. We find ourselves in Cougar territory, first and ten. Twins right, single receiver left. Snap comes by deal. Deal's got it. It's on the ground, and it's going to be recovered by the Cougars. Here we go. And the ball's still loose. Picked up and down at the 23-yard line. It fumbled out and still rolled ahead. Let's let him sort this out. I think he was down at about the 22. But it's going to be Cougar ball. Oh, my great gravy. I, you know, you just at some times it's hard to uh, come up with a way to explain that. <laughs> I mean, it yeah. just. Uh. I feel like John Madden in the replacements. Ball pops loose. 44 picks it up. Hands it, it falls out. Nine picks it up. Yeah. Marches on down the field. It pops out then. <laughs> And it goes all the way down. It's like, whoop, whoop. There it is. Yeah. I wish we had a marker. We would have drilled on the screen. It would have been a train wreck. Oh, there. my goodness. Timeout is called by Lincoln. And Coach Hawkins, I think, is starting to substitute some personnel in. 48 to nothing, 8.13 to go in the second. Well, what a golden opportunity for this Lincoln team to get some serious playing time early in the season. As, as a coach, you know, you got to appreciate uh, Coach Hawkins seeing that opportunity and saying, hey, I got a couple guys I've been wanting to get a look at. I want to get them in right now. Yeah. You know, it's still, let's be honest, it, there's eight minutes till halftime. It's still live wire crunch time. We got to go. You know, it's still intense. I know they've got a pretty handily lead on this, but there ain't no let up yeah. at this point. Yeah, and, you know, when you got 44, 45 guys standing on the sideline, and the Eagles have we got four injured. Right. So couple, we're down to, a couple critical ones, Down too, to, what, 23? Yep. Uh, his reserve batch is a lot larger than ours. Yep. All right, here we go. Snap comes back, handoff to new back, number 25, Trenton Hardesty. And he takes it ahead. And he was forced out of bounds, shy of the line of scrimmage, so it's a loss of about a foot. Second down to 10, heavy 10 for the Cougars. Got to get a, get a stop right here. And uh, if we can keep him from scoring, there's your victory. Yes. Twins to the left, single receiver to the right. New quarterback in for Lincoln, I think. Is it 12? I can't tell. Yes. Yeah, okay, Bart's still in. Bart fires across the middle. Picked off by the Eagles. Here we go. Cody Stout's got it. Check that. Is that 24? That's 24. Ryan Stoniker running at the 50, still on his feet, back inside across the 40, and he's going to be taken down at about the 36-yard line. Great job not stepping out of bounds. Absolutely. And we got a flag on the play. Ryan Stoniker comes across and picks up, gets hmm. the interception. Let's see what the flag is. Waiting for the official. It's going to be against the Eagles. Was that a block in the I, back? I think it was a crack back or crack something. Crack back. Unnecessary roughness against the Eagles. So it was after the play. 
after the change of possession. Right. So the interception stands. They're just going to take 15 off of it from the spot of the foul. That's a spot foul, isn't it? Yeah, so we were down deep in <clears throat> Cougar territory. That's going to be a 30-yard penalty and, easy. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Man. Takes us all the way back to about the 20. Let's just call it 27 and a half. He's splitting the 30 where, and 25. Where, where did – I never saw the – I mean, I saw the flag, but I didn't pay attention real quick to see where the – where it happened. Well, I did not either. It occurred about the 45-ish. Yep, so they're going to put on 28, they said, didn't they? Yeah. Yep, so 6.01 to go in the second. Eagles trail 48 to nothing. No, folks, I did not stutter. That is the score. We are in a hole. Twins right, single receiver to the left. I believe Bender is back in. Snap comes back, handoff to number 24. He spins, gets caught from behind. Stoniker loses a yard on that carry. So it's going to be second down and 11. Come on, Eagles. We are uh, slowly climbing out of the negative. Slowly. Slowly. We were at negative six. We were as far as negative 20 yards of offense. Cougars only have 106. They do have four scores they, on defense. They, yes. Well, I wasn't going to bring that up. But. Okay. Handoff. Stoniker again cuts it back into the A-gap, and he's going to get caught by number 55, Levi Griever. Picked up some positive yards there, though. Did move the ball ahead. About five, five oh, and yeah, a half. About, yeah, about five at least. So it's going to be third down and a light. Seven, heavy six. Got that new first down line on the field. Pretty pretty sharp. Indeed. Twins right, single receiver left. High snap, Bender's got to get rid of it. And Stoniker is caught from behind by the Cougars' Wyatt Finch. I'll tell you what. when From when, the back side of the play. But the timing was off because of the high, high snap. High snap, yep. That just, you know, what a, what a whew, that's and, one of those details. When you're talking about how quick we get the ball back to the line of scrimmage, yep, you know that slows it down, and and uh, boy, that can get you. And you a lot know, of times he's not blocked on that backside. Right, and you know I'm a stickler for center quarterback. I know it. <laughs> it all starts right there. It all every play, every play. Forty-eight to nothing. Four minutes to go here in the second quarter. Fourth and six, and Eagles got to punt the ball away. Now, attainable goal. Let's get this punt away. Yes. And we have whistles blowing. Delay game on us again. Wow. Come on, guys. Another delay of game. Actually, that may have been an illegal substitution. That's delay of game. I think that's illegal uh, substitution. I think you're right. Snap is back. The punt is away. Across the 50, fielded at the 44, and that young man's got real estate to cover. He's in Eagle territory already. 40, 35, up the sideline. He's at the 20, and out of bounds at about the 20. And we got a flag on the play. We're going to mark him out. I'm trying to see where they mark him out. He is going to be out at the 21-yard line, but we have laundry on the field. Let's oh, see who this is against. I didn't even see the flag. So what's the call? Illegal block in the back against the Cougars, their first penalty of the night. So that's going to back the Cougars up. Their first penalty of the evening. Well. Another opportunity Absolutely. to get something started here. We can somehow, some way, get this defense to settle in and make a play. You know, defensively, we gotta we gotta do something. Yep. They haven't run a whole lot of plays, and they've been very successful. So if we can just make them at least grind it out, that's a win yep. defensively. 
Yeah, we have doubled the amount of plays. They've only ran 13 offensive plays. We have 26. Wow. So here we go. Now we have a new quarterback. It's number five, Brody Barnes. Twins right, single or twins to the left, sorry. Single up back. That is Trenton Hardesty. Snap comes back to Barnes. Hardesty takes it. He is met by number 60 for the Eagles, Nathan Heater. And he loses two. Much better job. Much better job. Much better job indeed. Little gains. So second down at 12 on a rolling second quarter clock, 48 to nothing. Twin receivers out wide to the right and twins to this near side. Barnes in a shotgun. Hands off to number one. That's Gerald Parado. He's trying to get the edge. He's got an escort. He's up the sideline. With, and he is clear up, and he's going to score. But I thought, of, yeah, we got yep. a flag at the 30. Yep, not sure. So that touchdown may be negated. So let's see what they hash out here. I'm thinking we may be headed hold out there on the edge. It is a hold, and it is against Lincoln. Whew. That saved another touchdown. That Parado has some wheels. He, when he got that edge, my goodness. I don't want to see him get loose very much. No. He accelerated past the secondary. It was almost, he, he, he got that extra gear. He does. I mean, because he, he just did what he had to do to hit the corner, and then once he saw that, man, he just accelerated. So that's now a second down and 15 for the Cougars. Trips left, single receiver to the right. Parado lines up to the left of Barnes. Now back behind, Barnes puts it back. Snap comes back. Parado takes it. He's got an escort on the outside. Got, he has the edge, gets chipped up. Still working, cuts across the grain. Oh, my goodness, he's in open field. But he gets caught. He's still on his feet, and he goes down at the – 36-yard line. Wise decision for him to get down. He ran 80 yards, Shane, and picked up four. And he just ran 45 before that. Yeah. He's in shape. Well, they're going to give him a gain of seven, so it's going to be third down and eight. A gain of about six. Whew. But he ran 80 to get that six. I'm telling you. I thought when he cut across the grain there. I, I was scared, too, because there wasn't a whole lot of uh, white jerseys on that side. There was not. He's at the sideline here. His teammates are getting him some water. <laughs> you better get him a jet pack. His batteries are low. Twins left, twins to the right. Handoff, that's Hardesty. He gets met and goes nowhere. He loses half of what Parado got him. <laughs> so it's going to be fourth and 12 now. Fourth and 11. Connor Facemeyer in on that tackle. Much better. Much better job, def uh, that defensive line right there. Getting a little penetration, causing some havoc. Absolutely. Clock is down under 30 seconds. It's 48 to nothing. Your Eagles are in a hole. Probably run one more play here. They're going to go for it, as we'd be, we would with the field position. Play action is going to be a quarterback bootleg. He's got an escort. He's got the 30 and ran out of bounds at about the 28. Where are they going to spot him out at? I don't know. They're letting the clock run. He's out of bounds at the 30. So it wasn't enough. It's going to be turned over on downs anyway, and that's the half. Nah, they Central West Virginia Aging is looking for caregivers in all of its seven offices. If you want to make a difference in a fragile senior's life, contact Debbie at 304-765-3668. Central West Virginia Aging Services has one of the most competitive rates of pay and benefit plans in the home service industry. For more information on services needed or employment, call Debbie at 304-765-3668 or on the web at centralwvaging.org. A proud supporter of Braxton County Athletics. It's not 
not just a home or a car. It's the five hours you spent in the kitchen mastering your epic wing recipe and a three-hour family road trip to the favorite fishing hole. While other insurance companies just see them as a bundle or combo, State Farm agent Vicki Murphy sees your home and car as the time and memories you put into them. I understand what your things really mean to you, and I'm here to help you give them the right protection they deserve. Talk to me, State Farm agent Vicki Murphy in Gasaway for your home and auto insurance today. Call 304-364-8600. At Glenville State University, you can discover friends to last a lifetime, professors who broaden your perspective, and the skills and education for future success in a small town environment. At Glenville State University, you can become a pioneer. Mid-State Chevrolet. I-79, exit 67 in Flatwoods. Home of the stock em deep and sell em cheap boys. And proud supporters of Braxton County Athletics. All season long. Flying high with Eagle Pride. Find new roads to I-79, exit 67 in Flatwoods. No matter if you're looking for new car sales or service. Home of the 10-year, 150,000-mile limited powertrain warranty. Mid-State Chevrolet in the heart of Braxton County. MidStateChevy.com. And let's go Eagles. You know, every summer, for as long as I can remember, I've been coming up here to skip. You see, it's so thin and crispy, it's not just perfect for eating. It's also perfect for skipping. Mm. Whoa. You know, every summer, for as long as I can remember, slices of thin crust pizza just fly out of the lake. Like a miracle. I got one! Me too! The lake giveth thin crust! It's a hot and ready thin crust summer at Little Caesars. Pizza, pizza.
Yeah, let's wheel them over there.
Mid-State Chevrolet. I-79, exit 67 in Flatwoods. Home of the stock em deep and sell em cheap boys. And proud supporters of Braxton County Athletics. All season long. Flying high with Eagle Pride. Find new roads to I-79, exit 67 in Flatwoods. No matter if you're looking for new car sales or service. Home of the 10-year, 150,000-mile limited powertrain warranty. Mid-State Chevrolet in the heart of Braxton County. MidStateChevy.com. And let's go Eagles. You know, every summer, for as long as I can remember, I've been coming up here to skip. You see, it's so thin and crispy, it's not just perfect for eating. It's also perfect for skipping. Mm. Whoa. You know, every summer, for as long as I can remember, slices of thin crust pizza just fly out of the lake. Like a miracle. I got one! Me too! The lake giveth thin crust! It's a hot and ready thin crust summer at Little Caesars. Pizza, pizza. Whether you're feeding cattle, milking cows, or baling hay, the work on your farm is never done, which is why you need equipment that works as hard as you do. From farm all compact and utility tractors to balers and mowers, Case IH equipment gives you the efficiency and the versatility you need to get things done. To learn more, visit caseih.com livestock. For me, part-time service in the West Virginia Army National Guard looks like this. As a construction engineer, I'm moving earth, building roads, and working with a great team to accomplish our mission. My service trained me how to operate heavy construction equipment, and those skills have opened up doors to a great career here at home. See how part-time service can help you build your future. Go to nationalguard.com WV to find out more. RPMs raise your BPMs. If the open road is an open invitation, then get up and go. Go turn some heads. Go turn a wrench. Go windows down. Go volume up. Go in. Go out. Go off. Napa has America's largest network of parts and care, here to keep you firing on all cylinders. but it's just two degrees. Ah, two degrees is a lot of money. Oh. 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 But 
and I'm sweaty. We have a car payment to make! Oh! Don't beat yourself up over energy costs. Mitsubishi Electric Systems give you efficient individual room control with no duct work. Mitsubishi Electric Cooling and Heating. Live better. Go to MitsubishiComfort.com. The Roach Funeral Home's goal is to give the families we serve a warm and relaxed home to come to during the difficult moments in their lives facilitate meaningful and respectful ways for families to grieve their loss and celebrate the memories of their loved ones. We are guided by the concept of fundamental honesty and fairness in everything we do. We offer traditional funeral and cremation services. We also offer pre-need consultations where planning ahead can make all the difference to your family. At the Roach Funeral Home, the friendship of those we serve is the foundation of our business. Mid-State Chevrolet, I-79, exit 67 in Flatwoods, home of the Stockham Deep and Selham Cheap Boys, and proud supporters of Braxton County Athletics, all season long. Flying high with Eagle Pride. Find new roads to I-79, exit 67 in Flatwoods. No matter if you're looking for new car sales or service, home of the 10-year, 150,000-mile limited powertrain warranty, Mid-State Chevrolet in the heart of Braxton County. MidStateChevy.com, and let's go Eagles! I think if you're looking for a job in health care, being a part of a rural health care system is an excellent way to start. At Braxton County Memorial Hospital, you learn so many things that you don't always get to experience in larger facilities. The care that I get to give with my patients, you get to know these people on a more personal basis. Become a part of our team. Apply online today at wvumedicine.org slash careers to see all of our current job opportunities. On the board, excellent well, note. And, the is, is, and I'm not making this sound crazy, but it, it's very simple. If you have the ball, take it to the other end of the field. Right. If you don't, stop them from getting to the other end of the field, um, and you'll win. Right. I mean, it's, it's a pretty simple game, but there's so many emotions involved on Friday night. There's so many other things that go on. It, it becomes more than just X's and O's, yep. if you will. So you're right. So it's going to be exciting here to get the second half underway here and uh, get something turned around here, something positive for your Braxton County Eagles. We need something. Just a good methodical drive would be uh, amazing. Yeah, I'd, I, you know, take a kickoff, return it. End over end kick high. They got a heck of a kicker. Fielded at the 10. Cody Stout's got it 15-20. He's got the 25, and that is it. So a nice 15-yard return. That's a nice return. We'll take it. I'll tell you what, Cody has taken a beating on the returns. He he really has, and, and Cody's not a great big guy. He's not a 200-pounder. No, he's not. <laughs> but he runs as big as anybody. Absolutely. So he's – If his uh, body matched the size of his heart, oh, he'd be a big – Oh, buddy, he'd be – He'd be a big lad. I'm telling you. All right, we got Brett Bender in at quarterback. We got two receivers. Looks like out wide to the right. We got twins to the left. Bender's oh. trying to get the folks lined up here, right? And it looks like we're going to pistol formation here. And we're ready to go. Snaps back, handoff, and runs into a wall. That was, was that well, I think we Cody's? Got some you know, that was number, there we go. Ryan Stoniker, Ryan ball Stoniker, carrier. Yeah. And he loses two on that reception. So it's going to be second down and 12, 48 to nothing. If you're just joining us, Eagles in a hole here at Lincoln. Single receiver to the right and twins left. Snap comes back. Bender had trouble getting it. He's in trouble. He's got a roll. He's running for his life. And he's going to get to the 21 and that's as far as he's going to make it. Just nothing there. No running room whatsoever. No. Third and 14. So we went back two, four yards in this drive. Keep battling, guys. You like more just Bender's jersey. Pat him on the shoulder. Let's go. That's right. That's what you got to do. That's, Pick him up and yeah. let's roll. That's the mentality you got to have. Twins right and left. Bender. He has time in the pocket. He's forced out of the pocket. He's going to get slung down. We've got a flag, fly, flags everywhere. Bender slung down, helped up by the Cougar. 
And that's in the area of a hold. Yeah, I think we uh, drug somebody down there. Yeah, it looked like uh, yep. Connor Facemeyer just drug his guy down to the ground. Yeah, well, whatever it takes to keep your quarterback from getting hit. Now, his guy didn't make the that's tackle. That's exactly right. He was on the ground. Yeah. <laughs> So the penalty is against the Eagles. The holding is the call. And it's going to like a tackle. Him. Yeah. I would give him a tackle. It was a good offensive tackle. Yes, on his defensive stats. Just yeah. bleed him right over. There you go. So the Eagles are going to go into punt formation. Nathan Heater going back. He's going to be standing at with his back right at the back of his end zone. I never at the did front like end that. Zone. No. Need a good snap. Snap's good. Gets it away. Nice punt. Fielded at the 44-yard line. Uh, here goes Parado. He's loose. He's got a lot of field on that other side. Boy, he's patient. He is patient. He's quick. He's at the 10, and he is going to return it. But we got a flag on the play thrown across the other side of the field at about the 10-yard line. Almost has to be a hold right down there, doesn't it? I would think so. He, he was waiting on somebody to do something. Yep, the flag is at the 9. It was ahead of the camera, I think. Let's see if we can pick it up on this replay. He is he is quick. Look at that. He's just jogging in the replay. Oh, boy, I'll tell you what. So that's going to back him up to negates the touchdown. And it's going to back him up to about the 19. Well. So in the red zone for the fourth time tonight, the Cougars are. Takes away that score, though. It takes away the score. So the defense gets to – they have something to say about it. Exactly. Interesting fact for you, the Eagles have shut in the uh, – this being the 20th meeting, in the 20 meetings between these two teams, it, the Eagles have shut out the Cougars twice. The Cougars have shut out the Eagles only once. Oh, wow. Hopefully they don't match us tonight. Yeah, exactly. Twins right and left. Bart fires into the flat. He's got a receiver. That receiver jukes, and now we've got a touchdown, but we have a flag as Noah Sears takes it into the end zone. And the Cougars pretty silent as far as flags. Blocking the back against the Cougars, that's going to negate that touchdown. They're raining flags now. Yeah. I mean, I'm not right sure. sure it was, 15. Yep. He blocked. Uh, what he should have done is just stand there. Yeah, Instead just let him run contact, into it. Exactly. I know that's not real cool, but it would have it would have been effective. Yes. He, as soon as he'd have turned up field and ran into you, he would have been out of the play. Right. So that negates that touchdown. Hey, we've stopped two touchdowns. Stopped two touchdowns. Looking for positive. That's right. Bart in the shotgun. He's got Burdett. The lone setback lines up to his right. Twins right and twins left. Snap comes back to Bart. He swing passes out to Burdett. Burdett, he's got some carpet. He's at the 15-10 and down about the six-yard line. And it's going to be first and goal for the Cougars. Trying to see. Yeah, they're spotting him at the six. So very patient running by Burdett on that swing pass. Bart's going to send out three receivers to the wide side on the left side. Ball spotted on our near side, Hash. And Parado, the lone, lone receiver, to this right side. Burdett, the lone setback behind Bart. Snap, handoff, Burdett. Nobody's on him. Five, and he goes in on touch, Ooh, touchdown. Goodness. Well blocked. Well blocked, well executed. And another touchdown for Rob Hawkins and his Cougars. 54 to nothing. So P.A.T. getting set to come out. This is something I never understood. Look who the holder is for the Cougars. Hmm. The quarterback. Wow. I never liked that. Well, the only the only true benefit is if you need an extra point play, it, you just put the ball in uh, your quarterback's back hands. Yep. After that, a lot of things could go wrong. Yeah, he can get his fingers smoked. He can get – there's a – Yep, we got a snap through the high. The snap was high. Yep. And the extra point is no good. So the lead is extended to 54 to nothing here in the third, 839 to go. 
We'll be back in 60 seconds here. But you're home for the Eagles, the boss, 97 FM. We need more than <gasps> What topic should we get? To the decision wheel. Come on, Dilly. Italian sausage. And green pepper. These neighbors are weird. Get a large two-topping thin crust pizza for $8.99. Order online for pickup or delivery. Pizza, pizza. Yes. At Case IH, we believe it's our job to provide you with solutions. That's why our Farmall and Maxim tractors, as well as our tools and attachments, are designed with you in mind. From mowing to baling to loading and more, we're here to help turn your to-dos into to-dones. At Case IH, we'll keep your days running smoothly with equipment that's durable, versatile, and highly efficient. No wonder farmers are more loyal to Case IH than any other brand. Visit your local dealer or go to caseih.com forward slash livestock for more. Eagles set to receive the kick. We've got a new kicker, number 10, Cade Riley. And he gets off a dandy as well. Fielded at the 15. Cody Stout's got it across the 20, 25, 30, into open field. Go, Cody, run. And he gets caught across midfield, drug down at about the 48-yard line. Great field position. Great buddy. field position. Nice, explosive takeoff. That's his best return of the night. He didn't stutter step. He didn't By wait. Far. He, he just took off. He, he, he hit the gas pedal from the word go. Secured that ball and just went. Yep. Didn't he? Well, we do have a flag at the 49. Let's see who this what this flag is. And it is against the Cougars. Even better. So that's going to move it ahead. I, I looked up to find the white hat, and I was looking right through the window, the partition of the window, and I couldn't see. Couldn't see the white. Other than what, so what the call was, other than it was against the Cougars. It almost looked like he said horse collar. Yep. Uh, well, that's a long ways to make that call for us. Yeah, but it moves us ahead to the 34, so here we go. Snap back to Bender, handoff. And that is, oh, Stoniker got up in it, but he's still going ahead His feet. down to the 30. Come on, guys, let's get that goose egg off the get, board. Yeah, get it off the board. I like it. And they're calling for some help. Stoniker apparently hurt. <laughs> Look at that. And Connor Facemeyer picks him up. And just carries him and off. And just carried him off the field. It looks like it's a right ankle. I hope that's not broken. Oh, don't say that. I, I think he just needs to go over and walk it off. I hope so. He got twisted up in that. And it, uh, ankle injuries, you know me. Oh, I know. That's, that's a, <sighs> well, and, and I mean, that's a freshman that is getting good reps. Quality reps. Snap back to Bender. Nice throw. We got it. Oh, it was almost caught by Cody Stout. It was tipped by number 10, Kate oh, Riley. Oh, man. And that was a beautifully thrown ball. That was one of the better thrown balls tonight. Yes, it was. Nice coverage. And that was number 81. I'm sorry, Hunter Burdett on the coverage. If he and didn't get a finger on that, I think Cody would have had a better shot. That threw him off. Yes, it did. So third and five for the Eagles. Oh, what a great opportunity. We're going right. to get one in. Come I just on, I feel it. We got some personnel. Not sure who's supposed to be where. Twins right, single receiver to the left. Bender, handoff Moore. Moore's got a little running room, and it closes. He still squirts ahead, and I'm sure he's got the first down there. Yep. Yeah, boy. Across the 25, down to about close to the 22. They're going to put it down to 23. Eagle first effort. down. So that first down keeps this drive alive. We're closing in on the red zone, Shane. That would be off Ellis by far the best drive of the night for your Eagles. Yes. Twins right and single receiver to the left. Bender drops. He wants to look. He wants to fire. 
He's in trouble. He's running for his life, and he gets up ended behind the 30 at the 33. Just not enough time. Well, you, you're, yeah. I mean, it wasn't enough time, but at that point, how much time do you generally get in a high school offense? Not a lot. Not a lot. If it's not there, we gotta we gotta turn that thing upfield and turn it into positive yards. Yep. We got a flag on the play that I never saw. Really? Flag. Yep. Well, they're, they're talking to the Eagles. So we can hope that it's against the Cougars. Because if not, we've lost some serious carpet. They're still converting, but, aren't they? Yep. Apparently. The officials talking to the Eagles. The ball's laying where Bender got sacked. And it is a hold, and it's against Lincoln. Mm. So defensive holding. That's going to move the ball ahead, get us closer to the original line of scrimmage. In fact, I think it's going to put, it's going us, to put us in the first down. No. It's going to put us ahead. Where are they going? That is a first down. It is a first down. So apparently from where the spot was, and the spot must have been, may have been in the okay. secondary. Yeah, there you go. All right, so we've got to sort it out. It's first and 10 from the 13 for the Eagles. Bender, cross, throws, it's deflected, and we got a flag for pass interference. Intended for the Eagles. I like to watch that on the replay. That was that was close, wasn't it? Yes, it was. Intended for Braden Morris. And the defender. Yeah, he come across his yeah, wrapped yep. up around his neck. That was number 19, Caden Carter. But hey, you know what? That saved a touchdown. So there are times it, you'd rather have the penalty it, than the you're touchdown. Exactly right. Yep. Good call. Now, in a game like this, it's not such a big deal, but but you're right. So it's first and goal now for your Eagles. I did not stutter. That is what I said. First and goal. From the nine? From eight. about the nine, the eight. eight. Trying to get the angle here. Come on, fellas. Come on, boys. Oof. Hand off up the middle goes to Moore. He didn't get anywhere. He got nothing. Did he even get back to the line of scrimmage? He lost a yard. Linebacker stunted right in there and yep. cleaned that up. Right in the gap he was yep. going. 5-16 on the rolling clock, 54 to nothing. Eagles trail. Trying to get it in the red zone. This is our first appearance of the night in the red zone. Single receiver to the right, twins to the left. Bender, swing pass out to Cody Stout, and he loses four yards. That is That takes so long. Wait, me and you have never been a big fan of that. I've never been a fan of the swing pass. I know occasionally it turns out, and you get your athlete. And the theory behind it is I get my athlete in space. Right. I give them an opportunity to do something, but just what you said, it takes so long to develop. Especially at the high school level. Yeah. Uh, and when you have a, you're playing against a team that's got great team speed, it's just it's not effective. Bender drops back. He's in trouble, running for his life, and he's going to go down, and he's going to lose more yardage. And this drive is deflating. Three plays, and we have went back all the way from the eight-yard line. Man, now it's uh, fourth and 18. Fourth and goal from the 18-yard line. So we got we got all kinds of personnel going in and off, and it looks like we're short some folks, Shane. Oh, and we're going to have to take a timeout, I think. And that's what they looks like they're electing to do. Braxton County is going to take a timeout to get personnel where they need to go. Stops the clock at 3:40, 54 to nothing. We'll be back in 60 seconds here on the Boston 97. But it's just two degrees. Two degrees is a lot of money. Oh. 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 
but I'm sweaty. We have a car payment to make! Oh. Don't beat yourself up over energy costs. Mitsubishi Electric Systems give you efficient individual room control with no duct work. Mitsubishi Electric Cooling and Heating. Live better. Go to MitsubishiComfort.com. The Roach Funeral Home's goal is to give the families we serve a warm and relaxed home to come to during the difficult moments in their lives facilitate meaningful and respectful ways for families to grieve their loss and celebrate the memories of their loved ones. We are guided by the concept of fundamental honesty and fairness in everything we do. We offer traditional funeral and cremation services. We also offer pre-need consultations where planning ahead can make all the difference to your family. At the Roach Funeral Home, the friendship of those we serve is the foundation of our business. Get it in there. All right, welcome back. The Eagles are going to try for a field goal. And the hold is no good, and the Cougars recover. So, Angeron Michinou, otherwise known as Frenchie, does not even get to attempt it. Well, and I was really hoping to pull that goose egg off. The I was right too. And, and in all reality, that was the right play. Yeah. Try and get some points. Get that goose yep. egg off the board. I like it. Good, uh, good attempt. Absolutely. And at the high school level, you know, boy, if you got a field goal kicker, you've got a weapon. Well, you remember? Uh, oh, oh, I sure do. Yeah, Philip Barber. Philip Barber, my oh, gracious. He, he's he. Uh, was it shuffle? Was it shuffle? Shufflebine. Shufflebine. I think you're right. Yep. I tell you what, he could have. He, I think he did go on and play. He at did the next level. Yeah. That young man was a master of his craft. In the high, at the high school level, he punted very, very well. He kicked well. I mean, just. Well, and that, that year, I mean, he won the game for the Colts against the Eagles because he, of field position. Yes. We, we were constantly inside the five-yard line yep. because of his punting. So they got a hydration break here going on. We're just going to keep it right here. But, uh, yeah, uh, he was probably, the since we've been around – Middle school, high school football, and we've been on the radio for a long time doing this. Uh, best kicker we've seen to this point. Hands but, down. Yeah. Yeah, hands down. Uh, and like you said, he was a master of his craft. But he wasn't just booting it long. If they were on, on the 40-yard line, he was booting it 50 yards in the air, mm -hmm. and it was checking up. Well, and he was kicking. If you remember warm-ups, he was kicking 55-yard field goals. Yep. So, I mean, he, he, he was placing the ball where it needed to be. Um he was kicking touchbacks yep. on the kickoff. Yep. I mean, it was unreturnable. There were no returns. No. I mean, when it's when it goes out of the back of the end zone, you're just well, we'll start on the 20. Yep. You know, where most most high school teams start on the 30, 35. Right. And they so yeah, it was just he was a master of field position. Yeah. Buddy. Absolutely. I was hoping to get to see old Honoron Michinou, old Frenchy. Frenchie, a.k.a. A Frenchie. A.k.a. Frenchie. We're going to, that's how we'll refer to him from here on out, Frenchie. Just because I can't pronounce it. Yeah, his name is longer than the trip back to Braxton. Yep. <laughs> Two miles more. <laughs> Two miles more. All right, here come the Cougars. Twins left and single receiver to the right. Snap comes back, handoff to – Oh, ball's down. on the turf. Picked up by Parado, still on his feet. Get him on the ground, guys. He's got wheels. Oh, He gets whittled on that about the 27-yard line. Great googly moogly. i tell you what. Hats off to him for keeping that going and turning oh, it into positive that's yardage. Good. And now we've got an injured eagle. Who is that? Ryan Stoniker. Ryan Stoniker. I wonder if he came back too quick. He may have came back too quick. Coach Drake carrying him off the field. Glad to see him back out there, but. Uh, I'll tell you what, was that uh, Elijah Moore come over and finish that off? Yes. Because he delivered a shot. Second down and a heavy, heavy six, light seven. All right, here we go. Twins left and single receiver right. Hand off to the tailback. That is number 15, Rice, and he. Gets about two on that. He's going to take it out to near the 30-yard line for the Cougars. And that will bring up a third down and three. Clock continues to roll at 2.32. Now, interesting fact for you here in the fourth quarter because of the spread, I'm assuming that rule is still in effect, uh, there will be a continuous clock in the fourth quarter. 
it will not stop for any any reason other than a timeout, correct? Right. Or an injury. Or an injury. Four quick formation. Barnes in a quarterback. Snap comes back. Handoff. Nope. Quarterback keeper. He's going to take it ahead, still on his feet. He is like a pinball in there, and he's going to pick up close to 10 yards, more than enough for the first down for the Cougars. It was a very good run right there. He made something out of nothing. I thought a lie was going to get him hemmed up, but lie just couldn't get him stopped. Yeah, that was just a read play, and he just pulled it back out of his running back's stomach and uh, wisely picked up the first down. Ball spotted on the 41-yard line. 133 on a rolling clock. Eagles trail 54 to nothing. Single receiver out wide to the left. Twins to this near side. Snap comes back to Barnes. Handoff, tailback up the A-gap. I mean up the A-gap, and he's still on his feet, bouncing to the outside. 45, and in the Eagle territory, down at about the 43. Another big run on first down. That's number 10, Cade Riley. I tell you what, he keeps that, keeps that shoulder down and just keeps those feet moving. He was grinding, buddy. Riley would happen to be a uh, sophomore. Sophomore, 5'9", 167 pounder. So we'll be seeing him for several years. Few more, yeah. Twins left single, or twins to the right. Snap back, handoff. And that is number 21, and he gets way on down the field. Connor Rice picks up another first down. Gain of 11. Moves the chains. That's just increasing their average yards per play. Mm -hmm. They're just grinding now. Just grinding. They're, they're not in any... any uh, Hurry to get the ball out of bounds or step out of bounds. They've no. been doing a good job keeping the uh, clock moving, which is very wise. Yep, and it's, it has expired. The third quarter in the books. Folks, we got one quarter remaining. We're going to step aside. Central West Virginia Real Estate is the leading real estate sales agency in Braxton, Gilmer, and surrounding counties. Brian Groves Broker leads a team of 13 agents with over 150 years experience. Over the last few years, we've averaged the closing every four days. Central West Virginia Real Estate will market your property on over 60 leading websites, social media platforms, local advertising, and two offices at Sutton and Glenville. Are you thinking of selling or want to know what your property is worth? Contact us today at centralwvre.com. Take a ride to the north side. North side Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram Fiat Route 19 in Summersville on North Side Drive. Everybody rides at North Side, taking care of all your Ram truck and Jeep needs for over 20 years, and proud supporters of local sports. Every one of our North Side pre-owned vehicles goes through a rigorous inspection process, and we stand behind everything we sell. Get your next ride on North Side Drive from North Side Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram Fiat. NorthsideJeep.com. Hi, this is Gabby from People's Bank. I'm here to tell you about People's Bank's new CD special. It is so good, you need to stop by any People's Bank location today and ask your banker to tell you more. Or visit pebo.com. This special will not last long. You must open your account by September 7th. People's Bank. Working together, building success. Member FDIC. Yes, it is. Of course, you got a lot of substitutions in there. Been seeing them for a while. Starters come out to start the third quarter, and then Coach Hawkins gave them a rip, a series, and then pulled them out. Wise move. Wise move. Twins right, twins left for Barnes and the Cougars. Snap back. Quarterback keeper again trying to get the outside edge. He's still on his feet, got, got an escort, and he's going to be pushed out of bounds. Uh, let's see, near the 20. Trying to find the official spot. Got a Cougars everywhere. About the 24. About the 24 looks like. So about a nine-yard pickup. Second down and one. That's pretty manageable. Very manageable. Opens up a whole lot of things you can do. Yeah, absolutely. I think they'll be content to keep it on the ground. I'd say you're right. Twins right and left. Handoff. 
First down for number 21, and he takes it down across the 20 at about the 19. Connor Rice, the tailback. Nice uh, tackle there by the Eagles, number 64. Don't have a 64. Or was that 84? Kenneth Moss. Okay. Twins right, twins left for the Cougars. Snap comes back, handoff. Got Eagles in the backfield, and he gets away. And that young man's at the 15, trying to get the edge. Stutter steps. He's at the 10, wrestled down by Cody Stout at about the 8-yard line. He put the brakes on, jumped to the inside, and then cut back outside. <laughs> Whew. And it looks like Cody Stout's going to be carried off the field now. Not sure if he's cramping or. Watch this play over here. I don't know who, what, I think it was one of the linebackers. May have been a lie had an angle, yeah. Come on him. And he stuck his leg in the ground and said, nope, going back. Yep. And just called breaking his ankles there, wasn't it? Yeah, boy. All right, trips left, single receiver to the right for Barnes and the Cougars. First and goal. Snap back, handoff. Nope, quarterback keeper trying to get the edge. He gets tripped up, and he's going to lose a couple of yards. Barnes nowhere to go on that quarterback quarterback bootleg. Brought down at the 11, loses three on that carry. Second and goal from the 11. Come on, boys, keep them out. Clock nearing the nine-minute mark. This has uh, been a very good battle with this younger squad right here. Yes, it has. Twins right, twins left. Barnes, hands off to the tailback, trying to get the edge. Boy, he runs into the Eagles, number 10, Elijah Markham, and goes no farther. Nice job. Wrapped him up. Yes, he did. Trying to see where they're going to spot it. It's hard to see from the angle we're looking at, folks. And he loses a yard on that, so it's back to the 12. Good job. Third and goal from the 12. Let's see what they, uh, they've just been right, left, right, left. Yep. Wide side of the field is to the far side, so let's see if they go that direction on this. Trips right, single receiver left. And they are, and trying to get back to quarterback bootleg. He gets caught, but he's cutting back across the grain. Got blockers. He's at the 10. He is going to punch it in. Oh, we got a flag coming in late that's going to negate it. I believe the flag is going to be against the Cougars. Anxious to see this replay. So they may say it's terrible, but when you got two different officials to throw the flag on the same thing, mm -hmm. then they what? both sought personal foul against Lincoln. Blindside block. Yep, right there it was. Yep, saw it. Yep. And that touchdown by Barnes is negated. So, yeah, when you got two different people throwing the flag, then they've both seen the same thing. Yep. And from two different positions well, on the field. It was it was on the field. They yep. caught, did a good job catching that. Now, back when we played, that was a legal play. Totally legit block. Yep. Things have changed. And it's about protecting these young these young athletes, not getting them blown up. Absolutely. So third and goal now from the twenty four yard line. Trips right, single receiver to the left. That may change the pay, uh, play call. Yeah, here. it could be a pass here. Barnes, yep, hand off to number 21, stutter steps, trying to get a uh, block. He stays behind his blockers, and he gets down to the 15. And we've got a helmet rolling across the – it's still going to be 48. They win by four. It's just something about the – Entire family. The practice handles all levels of dental work from a basic cleaning or root canal to implants or referrals to other specialists. With a convenient location in Gasaway and a friendly staff awaiting your arrival, they can help you maintain a happy and healthy smile. The office is open Monday through Thursday from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. 
Schedule your appointment with Dr. Lancaster's dental office by calling 304-364-8565. Twins right, single receiver left. Moss back in. He wants to take a shot. He throws. It's caught at the 49 oh, yard. Oh, out. he dropped it. Ah. Stout headed, and he had a step on his receiver, and he come down and just could not hang on. Oh, man. That was a nice thrown ball. It was. It was. It, there was opportunity there. It was just a little bit behind Cody, and he had to go. He was going down, and he had to bend backwards and just. Not enough flexibility. Hard to hold on to that thing sometimes. Yeah. Hey, just got to pick up some positive yards here. Absolutely. All right, here we go. Back to Moss again. Hand off Moore, trying to get the edge. He's got a little running room. Stops, cuts it back up north-south. He's got a first down for the Eagles. Good run. Picked up 11. Nice job, Eliah. Good job blocking there, guys. Positive yards, man. Positive yards. That's all we can ask for. All right. Running out of time. Five minutes flat. Down 54 to nothing. Eagles send two receivers to the right and a single receiver out wide to the left. Here we go. Snap comes back, quarterback keeper. Looking for a hole, cuts back across the grain, spins, and he goes down after about a six, seven yard gain. Let's see where they spot this. They get one official's out near the 40 yard line to the 38. You can't really tell where they're gonna end up with it. Looks like so. Yep, it's about up. an eight yard pickup. Down to 410 and rolling. We got to hurry, guys. Yep, we need to have a sense of urgency. Yep. Here. Twins right. Cody Stout, the lone receiver to the far side of the field. Moss takes a snap, drops back, wants to fire. Looking for Stout again. He's got Stout and it's oh. in and out of his hands. Would have been pulled in at about the 30-yard line. Just couldn't pull it in. Pass wasn't a complete. bad thrown ball. No. Really, I mean, it just just right off his fingertips. Very close, very close. Very close. Third and two now for the Eagles. Two downs to get a fourth down. Absolutely. A first down. Yep. Twins right, single receiver left. Moss takes a snap, handoff more. He puts his nose up in the old A-B gap and he's got a first down for the Eagles. There we go. Needed two, got three. Let's get those chains moved quick. We're down to three minutes. Ball spotted on the 42-yard line. Come on, guys. Get them plays in. Let's make this thing happen. Yep. We're killing time. We've, we've chewed off 15 seconds. And it's still not got a play going. Twins left, single receiver to the right. Moss takes a snap, quarterback keeper. He's got an edge. He's got the first down into the second door. He down to the 40, down at about the 30. We've chewed off almost 30 seconds waiting for this play here. Twins right, single receiver left. Snap back to Moss, handoff more. Trying that edge. And he's got a first down if he was still in bounds. It's going to be close, isn't it? It is. It's going to be very close. Yep. They're moving to change, and they're saying he got it. On a positive note, that puts your Eagles at 41 total yards. So with about three minutes to go in the game, we finally got into positive yards. Yeah. It's been a long night for the Eagles. Twins right, single receiver left. Moss drops. He's taking a shot for Cody Stout again. Overthrows his intended receiver. Falls incomplete. Better hurry, fellas. Well, you got one time. You're going to have time for one play at the, at the pace we're going. 
25 seconds. Twins right, single receiver left. Come on, guys. Handoff Moore. Bouncing to the outside. Hurdles a guy, gets down across the 20 into the red zone. We'll not be able to line up quick enough to get another playoff. Though. Nope, we're down to the 18. And the clock is going to expire 4-3. Eagles take the final timeout with 1.9 seconds to go. So we were going to have time for one more play, barring there's no penalty. So we're going to step aside for about a 60-second break. We'll be back. For me, part-time service in the West Virginia Army National Guard looks like this. As a construction engineer, I'm moving earth, building roads, and working with a great team to accomplish our mission. My service trained me how to operate heavy construction equipment, and those skills have opened up doors to a great career here at home. See how part-time service can help you build your future. Go to nationalguard.com slash WV to find out more. I think if you're looking for a job in health care, being a part of a rural health care system is an excellent way to start. At Braxton County Memorial Hospital, you learn so many things that you don't always get to experience in larger facilities. The care that I get to give with my patients, you get to know these people on a more personal basis. Become a part of our team. Apply online today at wvumedicine.org slash careers to see all of our current job opportunities. Ball comes back to Moss, final seconds. He's running for his life. He's at the 25, 20, 15, 10, and he is going to be about five, six, seven yards shy of the end zone, and that's the game. Gets caught at the eight and cannot get in. So for the second time in the 20 meetings, the Lincoln Cougars have shut down your Braxton County Eagles. That's the final here at Shinsky.